Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Okay, so you're on a romantic first date and you can't help but wonder if your date thinks you're attractive as much as you think they are. What attractive behaviors do you have that you can display to your date? Well, here are six behaviors that attract people the most. Do you do any of them? Number one, casually touch them. A casual and friendly touch here and there may just improve your attractiveness if the other person is comfortable with it. A flirty quick nudge of the elbow or a tap on the shoulder may just make them feel closer to you. In an experiment from the University of Mississippi and Rhodes College, researchers had waitresses briefly touch customers on the hand or shoulders in a controlled yet natural setting. The waitresses who casually touched their customers when returning the change received a significantly larger tip than those who did not. In another study published in Psychology Press, Taylor and Francis group had men stand on the corner of the street and attempt to talk to women who would walk by. The men were more successful in starting a conversation with a woman when they lightly touched the woman on the forearm for one second. As the researchers state, our results showed that a man's courtship solicitations are more favorably accepted by a woman when the request is accompanied by light tactile contact. This isn't to say that everyone would like to be touched on the arm by a stranger but a flirty brush of the arm during a romantic date might not hurt your chances of them finding you attractive. Number two, show you're available and have open body language. How can you gain someone's romantic interest? Show you're open to dating them. Dr. Monica Moore, a psychologist at Weber University in St. Louis, has conducted research on the flirting techniques used in singles bars, shopping malls, and places young people go to meet each other. Author Nicholas Boothman writes in his book, how to make someone fall in love with you in 90 minutes or less, notes that psychologist Dr. Monica Moore found that it's not always the good looking who get approached the most, but the ones who signal their availability and confidence through basic flirting techniques like eye contact and smile. Just signaling your interest in someone gets you halfway there, regardless of gender. One way you can appear more confident and available is to display open body language. Try to keep your chest and torso more open and refrain from crossing your arms too much. Closed body language can give off the impression you aren't available or simply don't want to talk. And availability will signify to others that you're willing to talk and meet new people. Number three, be a leader. Want others to notice you? When you can, be a leader. In a 2014 study, researchers explored whether feelings towards other people influence the perceptions of others' attractiveness. Having their subjects in groups, they found subordinates rated their group leader as significantly more attractive than leaders outside their group. So even if there is no role of group leader in your next project, be more vocal about your ideas, teach others. There are many ways you can prove you are a capable and apparently attractive group leader. On your next date, suggest a place you know all about and take the lead on a romantic adventure. It could be fun. Number four, smile when you can. Feel like laughing at a funny joke? Smiling at a sweet comment? Then do so, and don't be afraid to, because smiling is quite attractive according to research. A study published in the Bulletin of Psychonomic Society found smiling might just make you more attractive. According to the study, women in the experiment who smiled 70% of the time were seen as more interpersonally attractive than a woman who seldom smiled. Looks like a comedy club date might be a good idea. Number five, maintain good eye contact. Ah, <sighs> your date's dreamy eyes. Why not look at them? Harvard psychologist Zick Rubin conducted a study where he recorded how much time lovers would spend looking into each other's eyes. He found that individuals who were not in love looked at each other 30 to 60% of the time, while those couples deeply in love, they stared into each other's eyes 75% of the time when talking. And when someone else entered the room or interrupted them, they were much slower to turn away from their partner's gaze. A little tip to really get someone to consider these feelings of love for you? Look into their eyes 75% of the time. The brain remembers the last time someone they loved stared at them in the same way. They'll associate this stare with feelings of love and attraction. Why? This lovely memory causes a release of phenylethylamine, which is known as a love drug. Phenylethylamine is released in the brain when someone falls in love. This chemical too mimics the brain chemistry of someone who is deeply in love. Chocolates contain phenylethylamine, which is probably why it's historically been considered an aphrodisiac. So if you want your date to see you as attractive, maybe romantically gaze into their eyes a bit when you're talking to them, and maybe some hot chocolate? Mm, chocolate. And number six, crack a joke or two. 
who doesn't love a good joke? Researchers from Illinois State University and DePaul University found in their study that when you use humor, when getting to know an acquaintance at first, that individual has a better chance of liking you more. They even found that engaging in funny tasks may raise romantic attraction. See, I told you that comedy club was the next perfect date choice. Take the lead on picking your next date and snuggle up for some good old comedy and hot chocolate. Not only attractive, but delicious. So which of these behaviors will you use on your next date? Where will you take them? Hot chocolate, comedy night, a romantic stroll hand in hand? Share with us in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks so much for watching.